I just wanted to show you guys something, this TJT variator and the ramp plate for the Honda Hobbit, originally for a derby variant. What you can see, one thing I noticed on the ramp plate where the flat spots are, right there, they don't quite line up, so I added a little bit of material there so that they fit the variator a little better. Otherwise what was happening is this thing would twist back and forth. And I didn't like what it might do under high power, so that solved that real fast. Uh, the other thing I noticed is everybody says these things come with 16 by 13 rollers. These are the stock ones that came with my TJT, and they are 16 by 13. Now what I want to show you is when I put all six of these in, What I'll do is I'll put the plate back on. Now the plate does bottom out. You can hear it hit. That's good. But listen. I think those rollers are too small. So I've got these rollers here, they're used, but I think they originally measured 18 by 14. And that one doesn't fit, it's actually been buggered real bad, but all the other ones fit. And you'll see they do move. Now when you put the plate back on, it still hits bottom. So the rollers aren't stopping it. Now listen. Barely any rattle. So that tells me that the rollers are sitting right up on that ramp, ready to go. Now I have another set of rollers that are 18 by 14, the brand new, they don't fit. But it's only the width that's the problem. So you could technically sand down a little bit of the edge if there happens to be on one, depending on the rollers you use. But it might be something to try, because the other result will be that with bigger rollers, technically the plate will open further at high RPM. I don't know. Let me know what you think on this and uh, maybe it helps you get that little extra power.